Hi everyone, this is Wouter from Novit Screen Rental and today I feel like a kid in a toy store because I received this box. This box has got no stickers at all indicating what's inside, but I happen to know what's inside because it is one of the first proof of concepts of the transparent OLED 55 inch screen from LG. We have everything we need to unbox this screen. We have a Swiss tool pocket knife, we have a roll of gaffer, ta gaffer tape, I'm ready to go. So first we're going to remove the packaging. Toss it away. And then, of course, be very careful. I happen to know that up here should be the accessories, so let's not damage those. And haha, our present has been opened. Let's see what we have here. It looks like a styrofoam box with all kinds of components. We have a cover. I received some information about what's inside, of course, before. This is a cover for the back side, for the flat cables. We have the standard foot stands that we have received, put them aside. And we here we already have a big kit of flat cables. Well, and this looks like everything a normal screen has. It looks like um, the uh, DisplayPort cable, RS-232 cable, infrared. Oh, it even has a remote control, so comes in handy. Let's have a look what we have here. Okay. More styrofoam, great, toss it away. Cardboard, okay, and it definitely has a screen inside. Um, oh, first I'm gonna remove the um, connector box because the screen of course is like maybe six millimeters thick. And for that, if you want to be able to hook up a HDMI cable or a DisplayPort cable, you might need a connector box. It's always funny to see those uh, very flimsy screens and then they go like, yeah, it's only two or three millimeters thick. But yeah, somewhere you have to hook up the uh, power cable, somewhere you have to hook up the HDMI DisplayPort input. It also has a DisplayPort output, USB, LAN connections, and RS-232 and infrared in and out. So quite a bulky box, but then again, uh, well, the screen itself is amazingly thin. I'll put this aside. And then, hoo hoo, how are we going to do this? Screen weighs nothing, so it should be feasible to do that all alone. And since I'm behind it, you sh should immediately get a good idea of how transparent it is. I'll just lift it out. Uh, try to lift it out. And there we have it. Okay. It weighs like something like four or five kilos. Just trying to get rid of the box. We don't need that one anymore. Toss it out of the way. More styrofoam Whew. goes there. And there we have it. Okay. So when it's now it's not lit, you already get an idea of how transparent it is. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to immediately remove the plastic protection foil, because of course we don't want to see what it looks like when it's protected. We want to look what it, we want to see what it looks like when it's ready to go. The good thing is um, there is no manual with this screen, so I don't have to read the manual, which I probably would not have done anyway. But there isn't one, so nobody can blame me that I didn't read it. 
I asked the guys in Korea if I could get some information, and it looked as that wasn't a question they had expected. So um, we got a little bit of information, but um, not very much. So remove these. So we already got rid of all the protection and it gives you a good idea what the screen looks like when I'm behind it. On the back side, I'm going to I'm going to turn it uh, turn it around and put it here to give you an idea of the uh, connections on the back. What I see here. It really is very light. So what do we have here? It has some pads attached to the uh, rather fragile mirror layer. I'm gonna add one here. Looks very uh, fragile, especially the layer here, which is the mirror itself immediately. But let's just So here we are, good to go. Hope it's not going anywhere. Here we can see the uh, connectors for flat cables. What I heard is that there are only four very flat um, cables coming out of the box and going into these uh, connectors here on the boards. It looks to me that you don't have to do that a hundred times because if one of these fellas gets is broken i think you can toss the screen away which would be a very expensive throwaway thingy basically what you see here is the hardware you get you get a small cover to um cover the f more or less the um the connector pcbs that you have here and then um, you have the flat cables running to the connector box. So if we turn it around, this is what the screen looks like if you look at it from the front. And such a beautiful screen with these uh, two black thingies keeping it upright. They, um, I really want to find a solution for that one. And then of course, now what you don't see are flat cables and a connector box. So we, even in order to get this product able to be rented out, we have to modify some things and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to apply the thingies that we prepared up front and uh, I'll uh, just uh, speak to you in a minute about what we uh, tend to do about it. Okay, so as you can see, the thing's working. We figured out how to connect the flat cables. I suggest you send me an email um, about how to do it. Um, now here you can see some small... Um, uh, neon signs on a black background because of course that's typically what you need content on a on a black background here you have an example of what a moving video uh, looks like also it's a night video so uh, it looks quite nice you can see me gives you an idea about what it looks like and uh, I'll just uh, show you on how we did the, the um, how we hid the connector box in a quite safe way because that really needed a way and doing it more or less um, foolproof. The image you see on the screen right now is quite interesting because actually the screen is completely turned on as it was um, 30 seconds ago. You just don't see anything at all from this side. So in the beginning I thought it should be logical to see the exact same image on the back side but in fact you see nothing. What you see here and the connections and the pieces of sheet metal that we used have been fully customized by ourselves in order to make this screen more or less rentable. Um, here you see to add weight and to add some kind of a yeah let's say base plate we had a sheet of 10 millimeter aluminum if we would do it in steel it would be quite heavy of course. 
then we fixed the connector box onto the, um, onto the base plate. Here from the side, you still see the flat cables coming out of the box, going in between the box and the metal cover here to the flat cables, which are, of course, still exposed. Um, we decided to do it this way because, really, trust me, having done it a couple of times, those connectors, they won't last a hundred times. Here on this side, you see the USB um, uh, connector where you can put in your USB stick and upload content to have it uh, play standalone. The HDMI input, display port, display port out, another USB, and then the LAN ports and the infrared. Because, of course, in order to be able to use the remote control, you have to uh, have an infrared sensor somewhere. It gives you an idea. We'll uh, come up in a couple of days with a new um, bracket, which will probably fit the box vertically under the screen in order to keep this really nice looking uh, thin uh, character uh, to the screen. So that's it. You can see that um, I safely got this uh, screen into the studio. It looks quite sturdy to me and uh, it's available for rent uh, at novit.be.